A storm is brewing as demographic tensions and rampant inflation converge, pushing the nation to the brink. With a staggering 31,000 migrants arriving this year and an alarming 8.5% inflation rate, Italy faces an economic emergency not witnessed since 2011. Now, let us start from the roots of this storm. Italy finds itself at a critical juncture as it declares a state of emergency in response to a significant uptick in migrants arriving via the perilous Mediterranean route. This move, the first of its kind since the European migrant crisis in 2011, underscores the urgency of the situation. The declaration comes as a direct response to the escalating numbers of arrivals since the beginning of the year and the overcrowding issues in key locations, particularly the small island of Lampedusa. Understanding the Roots of the Crisis to comprehend the severity of the situation, it is essential to delve into the reasons behind the surge in migration. The Mediterranean route has long been known for its perils, yet individuals continue to embark on this dangerous journey in search of safety and improved opportunities. The urgency to flee conflict, poverty and persecution propels them toward this perilous path, creating a humanitarian crisis that demands immediate attention. The overcrowding in facilities, particularly on islands like Lampedusa, adds an extra layer of complexity to the challenges at hand. These facilities, designed to provide temporary shelter and processing for migrants, are now stretched beyond their capacities. The State of Emergency Declaration is a response to the strain on resources, urging a coordinated effort to effectively manage the situation. The alarming numbers. The statistics vividly illustrate the magnitude of the issue. With 31,000 migrants arriving since the beginning of the year, Italy is grappling with a substantial increase compared to previous years. The methods of arrival vary, with some individuals being rescued by Italian military or humanitarian ships, while others brave the journey independently, reaching Italy's shores without any assistance. Italy's strategic response. The declaration of a state of emergency is not a mere formality. It is a pivotal step in addressing the multifaceted challenges posed by the surge in migrant arrivals. This declaration empowers the government to mobilize resources, coordinate efforts and implement measures to manage the situation effectively. Italy's response reflects the severity of the crisis and the necessity for a comprehensive strategy to navigate the complexities ahead. The government in collaboration with relevant authorities, now faces the daunting task of addressing the crisis on multiple fronts. Enhancing search and rescue operations at sea is paramount, ensuring the safety of those embarking on perilous journeys. Simultaneously, efforts must focus on improving facilities for processing and accommodating migrants, alleviating the burden on key hotspots like Lampedusa. International cooperation is indispensable in finding long-term solutions to address the root causes of migration and alleviate the burden on countries facing increased arrivals. A unified approach involving neighboring nations, regional entities and international organizations is crucial for developing strategies that extend beyond immediate crisis management. A glimpse into the future. As the crisis unfolds, the international community needs to come together and support countries facing the brunt of migration challenges. Italy's state of emergency serves as a stark reminder of the intricate issues surrounding migration and the imperative for collaborative efforts to find sustainable solutions. The plight of those undertaking perilous journeys across the Mediterranean underscores the urgency of addressing the root causes of migration improving global cooperation on refugee and asylum policies and ensuring that countries facing increased arrivals receive the necessary support. Only through a comprehensive and compassionate approach can we hope to mitigate the challenges posed by the surge in migrant arrivals and work towards a more stable and secure future for all. In a significant move, Italy has declared a state of emergency in response to a surge in migrants arriving via the perilous Mediterranean route. This declaration, lasting six months, comes with an initial funding injection of 5 million euros, spearheaded by Georgia Maloney's right-wing government. The funds are earmarked for the creation of new structures that serve both as shelters and processing centers. 
with a specific focus on the repatriation of migrants who do not meet the criteria for legal stay in the country. Immediate funding and objectives. The allocation of 5 million euros is the initial step in the government's strategy to tackle the migrant crisis head on. These funds are crucial for establishing new facilities, aiming to improve the identification and repatriation processes for individuals deemed ineligible for continued stay in Italy. The overarching goal is to enhance the efficiency of immigration procedures while simultaneously addressing the strain on existing facilities. Giorgia Maloney's government emphasizes the importance of creating new structures suitable both for sheltering as well as the processing and repatriation of migrants who don't have the requisites to stay. This targeted approach seeks to streamline the handling of migrants, ensuring a more effective and expedited process for those who do not meet the legal criteria for remaining in the country. Controversy surrounding Migrant facilities, the proposed new structures, known as CPR, Centri di Permanenza per il Rimpatrio, in Italy, have long been marred by controversy. NGOs and human rights groups have consistently criticized the conditions inside these facilities, labeling them as inhumane and degrading. The declaration of a state of emergency raises concerns about the potential exacerbation of issues related to the treatment of migrants within these facilities. As Italy mobilizes resources to address the surge in migrant arrivals, it becomes imperative for the government to address these long-standing concerns. Striking a balance between effective immigration policies and upholding human rights standards is a delicate task that requires careful consideration and comprehensive solutions. Historical context. While the current state of emergency declaration is the first of its kind for immigration issues since 2011, Italy has employed this measure for other critical situations. In 2020, a state of emergency was declared in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. This allowed the government to enact swift and decisive measures, bypassing the lengthy parliamentary process for funding and regulations. The comparison between these two states of emergency highlights the multifaceted challenges that governments face with each crisis demanding unique and tailored responses. The declaration of a state of emergency signifies the gravity of the situation at hand, offering the government the flexibility to act swiftly and allocate resources effectively. However, the success of such measures hinges on a delicate balance between urgency and thorough consideration of the implications for affected individuals and communities. Looking ahead, as Italy grapples with the complexities of managing the surge in migrant arrivals, the effectiveness of the state of emergency will be closely scrutinized. The allocation of funds and the establishment of new structures signal a commitment to addressing the immediate challenges, but the government needs to ensure that these measures adhere to international human rights standards. The plight of migrants, often fleeing conflict and seeking a better life, underscores the importance of a compassionate and comprehensive approach. Striking a balance between immigration enforcement and humanitarian considerations will be key to navigating the intricate web of challenges posed by the current crisis. International cooperation and dialogue also play a crucial role in finding long-term solutions. Addressing the root causes of migration, fostering regional collaboration and supporting countries facing increased arrivals are essential components of a sustainable and humane approach to the global migration challenge. The complexities of managing immigration, especially in the context of a state of emergency, necessitate a nuanced and multifaceted approach. The government's efforts must extend beyond immediate crisis management to address the root causes of migration, enhance the conditions within repatriation facilities, and foster international collaboration to create sustainable solutions. Italy, at the forefront of the European migrant crisis, is currently grappling with a surge in arrivals via the perilous Mediterranean route. Giorgia Maloney's government, in response to this complex challenge, is actively pushing for a series of policies aimed at reducing and streamlining migrant arrivals. Policy objectives speeding up identification and processing. One of the focal points of Maloney's government's immigration policy is to accelerate the identification and processing of individuals who do not meet the criteria for legal stay in Italy. The intention behind this measure 
is to streamline the immigration system, ensuring a more efficient handling of cases and quicker decisions on whether individuals can remain in the country. These proposed changes aim to create a more agile and responsive immigration system, addressing concerns about the backlog of cases and the strain on existing facilities. By expediting the identification and processing of migrants, the government hopes to manage the influx more effectively and reduce the burden on resources. Challenges around special protection, status, a shifting landscape, Another significant aspect of the proposed policies involves the potential modification or abolition of rules concerning the special protection status granted to asylum seekers. Historically, the criteria for obtaining this status were stringent. However, a 2020 reform significantly broadened the eligibility criteria. As a result, individuals facing persecution in their home countries due to various factors such as race, sex, gender, identity, citizenship, religion, political opinion, and personal or social conditions, became eligible for special protection status. In 2022, approximately 10,000 people qualified for special protection status in Italy under the revised criteria. However, Maloney's government is advocating for a re-evaluation of these criteria, with the belief that restricting access to this status will act as a deterrent, dissuading migrants from undertaking the perilous journey from North Africa to Italy. The rationale behind policy adjustments, deterrence and preventing tragedies. Georgia Maloney's government argues that tightening the criteria for special protection status and expediting the identification and processing of migrants will serve as a deterrent. By making the journey to Italy less attractive, the government aims to reduce the number of migrants embarking on dangerous voyages, ultimately minimizing the risks associated with such journeys. The tragic shipwreck near Cutreo in the southern region of Calabria in February, where 93 lives were lost, serves as a poignant example of the perils migrants face. Melanie's government contends that stricter immigration policies can contribute to preventing such tragedies by dissuading individuals from attempting the hazardous journey in the first place. Controversies and concerns balancing deterrence with humanitarian considerations. While the government's push for stricter immigration policies aligns with its goal of reducing arrivals and preventing tragedies at sea, it has not been without controversy. Critics argue that tightening eligibility criteria for special protection status may inadvertently place vulnerable individuals at greater risk, forcing them to choose between perilous journeys and facing persecution in their home countries. Human rights advocates stress the importance of finding a delicate balance between deterrence and humanitarian considerations. Stricter policies should not compromise the safety and well-being of those seeking refuge especially considering the complex and often life-threatening circumstances that drive individuals to undertake such journeys. International perspectives and cooperation, navigating a global challenge. The issue of migration is inherently complex and extends beyond national borders. Italy's efforts to reduce arrivals and prevent tragedies involve navigating a global challenge that requires international cooperation, addressing the root causes of migration, fostering diplomatic relations with source countries, and collaborating with European and international partners are essential components of a comprehensive strategy. Looking ahead, striking a balance in a complex landscape. As Italy continues to navigate its immigration landscape, the coming months will reveal the impact of the proposed policies on reducing arrivals and addressing the inherent challenges of managing migration flows. Striking a balance between deterrence and upholding humanitarian principles will be paramount in crafting policies that are effective, compassionate and in line with international standards. The tragic incidents in the Mediterranean underscore the urgency of finding sustainable solutions that prioritize human safety and well-being. Italy's experience serves as a poignant reminder of the intricate web of challenges surrounding migration, requiring not only national efforts but also global collaboration to create a future where the dignity and rights of migrants are upheld and tragedies at sea become a thing of the past. 
In the flat plains of Italy's picturesque Veneto region, where the scent of wine permeates the air, Antonio Carpenedo has crafted a unique legacy through La Cassiaria Carpenedo, a cheese-making enterprise that defies convention. Here, wheels of cheese undergo unconventional aging processes, including being dunked and aged in various wines, red, white and Prosecco, while others find their maturation enveloped in hay within barrels. However, the success of this drunken cheese venture emerged from the ashes of financial turmoil. In the 1980s, Antonio Carpenedo's previous cheesemaking business succumbed to the strain of skyrocketing interest rates, reaching an outrageous 27%. The business had to be sold, forcing him to start anew. Decades later, as the custodians of La Casearia Carpenedo, Antonio's sons confront a haunting spectre, the possibility of another financial catastrophe triggered by rising interest rates and economic uncertainty. The fear of history repeating itself has paralyzed their investment plans, casting a shadow over the future of this unique cheesemaking legacy. The rates are increasing, and we do not know what will happen. If we reach the rates that we had in the 80s, it's devastating and you kill the company. A decade of record low interest rates. For the past decade, interest rates in the 19 countries that form the Eurozone have remained at historically low levels. The European Central Bank, ECB, crafted programs to incentivize banks to lend generously to businesses, fostering an environment of financial stability and growth. However, a shifting economic landscape, marked by surging inflation across the Eurozone, has prompted the ECB to reconsider its strategy. With the looming possibility of the ECB's first interest rate hike in 11 years, a seismic shift is underway. The central bank is tightening financing conditions, adjusting its approach to align with the evolving economic dynamics of the Eurozone. Legacy of La Casiaria Carpenedo. La Casiaria Carpenedo stands as a testament to resilience and innovation amidst financial adversity. Antonio Carpenedo's journey from the collapse of his previous cheese-making venture to the establishment of a renowned drunken cheese enterprise reflects the ebb and flow of economic fortunes. The unique aging processes employed by La Casearia Carpenedo symbolize not only a commitment to craft, but also an adaptation to the changing tides of the business landscape. As the enterprise faces the uncertainty of rising interest rates, it becomes a microcosm of the broader economic challenges confronting businesses across the Eurozone. European Central Bank's shifting strategies, a response to inflation surge. The European Central Bank's decision to shift gears and tighten financing conditions comes in response to an inflation surge across the Eurozone. The unprecedented challenges posed by rising inflation levels prompt a recalibration of monetary policies. As the ECB braces for the first interest rate increase in over a decade, the effects will ripple through various sectors, impacting businesses both large and small. Navigating uncertain waters, businesses confront rising interest rates. La Casearia, Carpenedo's story mirrors the broader challenges faced by businesses navigating the uncertain waters of rising interest rates. For Antonio's sons, the fear of financial devastation and the potential impact on their cheese-making enterprise loom large. Investment plans, crucial for growth and innovation, are put on hold as businesses grapple with the unpredictable economic landscape. The delicate dance between fostering economic growth and managing inflation risks becomes increasingly complex for the ECB. Striking the right balance is paramount to prevent a recurrence of the economic hardships experienced in previous decades. Global Implications – A Shared Challenge for Businesses Worldwide The challenges faced by La Casearia Carpenedo and businesses across the Eurozone are not isolated. They resonate globally. As central banks worldwide grapple with the complexities of inflation and interest rate adjustments, businesses everywhere are forced to adapt to a shifting economic paradigm. For cheesemakers in the Veneto region and entrepreneurs worldwide, the impact of central bank policies extends far beyond the financial realm. It shapes the very fabric of business operations, influencing investment decisions, growth trajectories and the ability to navigate economic uncertainties. Innovation, amidst uncertainty, toward a resilient future. 
As businesses confront the challenges posed by rising interest rates, innovation becomes a crucial ally. La Casiaria Carpenedo's unconventional approach to cheesemaking is a testament to the power of innovation in the face of adversity. Embracing creativity, adapting to change, and fostering resilience are key elements for businesses striving to weather economic storms. In the flat plains of the Veneto region, where wheels of cheese are dunked in wine and innovation is at the heart of tradition, the Carpenedo family's journey encapsulates the broader narrative of businesses confronting economic uncertainties. Their story reflects not only the challenges, but also the potential for growth, resilience, and a flavorful future despite the changing economic tides. The winds of economic change are sweeping across Italy. The Eurozone's third largest economy as the European Central Bank, ECB, withdraws its easy money policies. This shift has reignited concerns among investors about Italy's high level of debt and its commitment to crucial economic reforms. The repercussions are felt not only within the country, but resonate as a source of political and economic headaches for the broader Eurozone. Challenges in Italy, debt levels and economic reforms, Italy, known for its rich cultural heritage and economic complexities, finds itself at the center of a shifting economic landscape. The ECB's decision to withdraw easy money policies in recent months has amplified unease among investors regarding Italy's substantial debt burden and its dedication to essential economic reforms. Last month witnessed a sharp rise in yields on the Italian government's debt. Yields, a crucial measure of a country's borrowing costs, serve as a benchmark influencing other loans. Italy's debt burden, standing at about 150% of its gross domestic product, GDP, ranks as the second highest in the Eurozone. This situation has raised concerns about the sustainability of Italy's fiscal position and the potential impact on its economic trajectory. Sarah Carlson, the lead analyst for Italy's sovereign rating at Moody's, highlights Italy's systemic importance within the monetary union due to its size. The economic challenges faced by Italy resonate across the Eurozone, underscoring the interconnected nature of the region's economies. European Central Bank's response to inflation, a delayed pivot. The ECB's delayed response to address inflation has played a pivotal role in the current economic dynamics. The Central Bank, lagging behind many of its global counterparts, initially attributed inflationary pressures to imported factors, primarily stemming from global supply chain disruptions and rising energy charges heightened by the conflict in Ukraine. However, as signs emerge that substantial price increases, risk becoming entrenched in the economy, policymakers have been compelled to shift their stance. The ECB is now taking steps to tighten monetary policy, marking a notable departure from the prolonged period of easy money that characterized the past decade. Global factors influencing the European landscape. Global factors, including supply chain disruptions and geopolitical events, such as the conflict in Ukraine, contribute to the complexity of the economic challenges faced by the Eurozone. The interconnected nature of the global economy means that external shocks have far-reaching implications for individual countries and regional blocs alike. As the ECB navigates the intricate web of global economic factors, its decisions reverberate through the member states of the Eurozone. The delicate dance between addressing immediate challenges and fostering long-term economic stability requires a nuanced approach that considers both domestic and international dynamics. Looking ahead, navigating economic uncertainty, the evolving economic landscape in Italy and the broader Eurozone underscores the need for proactive and adaptive strategies. Italy's economic challenges, from its high debt burden to concerns about reforms, mirror the complexities faced by many countries navigating a post-pandemic world. As policymakers grapple with the task of balancing inflation concerns with the imperative of sustaining economic growth, Businesses and investors are left to navigate uncertainty. The coming months will shed light on how Italy and the Eurozone at large adapt to the changing economic environment, offering insights into the resilience and agility required to overcome challenges in an ever-shifting global landscape. The sudden burst of inflation and the end of ultra-low interest rates have sent shockwaves through the country. 
introducing an element of uncertainty that contrasts with the prolonged periods of lackluster economic growth and political upheaval. A history of stability and innovation. Since the inception of the Euro over two decades ago, Italy has been no stranger to navigating economic challenges and political uncertainties. However, what distinguishes the current landscape is the abrupt shift marked by a surge in inflation and the conclusion of an era of ultra-low interest rates. For companies like Geox, the footwear brand founded in 1995 in Montebelluna, the past 20 years provided a relatively stable environment. Inflation and interest rates remained low, allowing businesses to easily access resources for expansion. Livio Libraleso, the chief executive of Geox, reflects on this period as a sort of heaven, where the city became a hub for shoe production in the Veneto region. The challenges of battling currency devaluations and fluctuations in currency value with neighboring countries were replaced with a focus on innovation and growth. Deja vu and the challenge of rising interest rates. However, there is now a sense of deja vu as Italy grapples with familiar challenges. As interest rates rise again, Livio Libraleso remarks that it is necessary to think in the same direction as before the year 2000. The strength of the dollar, reaching unmatched levels, adds a new layer of complexity. Last week, the euro briefly fell to parity with the dollar for the first time in two decades, intensifying concerns about currency dynamics and global economic shifts. The euro's weakness is further exacerbated by apprehensions that Europe may slide into a recession due to disruptions in energy supply. Italy, facing a challenging economic outlook, is forecasted by the European Commission to have the slowest economic growth in the bloc next year at just 0.9%. This projection is attributed to a decline in consumer spending as households cut back and reduced business investment amid weaker demand and increasing borrowing costs. Energy dependence and political turmoil adding to Italy's economic challenges is its dependence on Russian energy. Before Russia invaded Ukraine, Italy relied on Russia for 40% of its imported gas supply. This dependence has now been reduced to about 25%, but the lingering uncertainty surrounding energy supplies casts a shadow over the country's economic future. Compounding the economic landscape's complexity is the sudden disintegration of political stability and economic reform. Prime Minister Mario Draghi's technocrat-led coalition government collapsed after just 17 months, following a vote of confidence in which key partners abandoned him. The swift turn of events raises concerns about whether a new government will continue to adopt the necessary reforms to secure European Union pandemic relief funds, amounting to about 200 billion euros. Testing resilience in the Veneto region. The Veneto region, known for its industrial prowess and renowned Prosecco, stands as an emblem of Italy's resilience in the face of economic downturns and political turbulence. However, the region's ability to weather the darkening outlook for the global economy is now put to the test. The industrial area, home to businesses like Geox, has been a beacon of economic activity, but the shifting tides demand a renewed resilience. As the global economic horizon darkens, the Veneto region's capacity to adapt becomes crucial for its businesses to thrive amidst uncertainty. In the intricate dance of global economies, the Carraro Group, a stalwart in the manufacturing sector, has been steadily recovering from the echoes of the 2008 financial crisis. Seizing the opportunity presented by low interest rates, the company strategically leveraged bond sales to restructure its debt and fuel investments. This year, however, plans to refinance debt were abruptly halted as Russia's invasion of Ukraine sent shockwaves through financial markets, causing uncertainty and prompting a rethink of economic strategies. Situated just outside Padua, the Carraro Group's refinancing plan, which was set to borrow 120 million euro, faced an unexpected pause as geopolitical events unfolded. The company found itself caught in the crossfire of global tensions emphasizing the interconnectedness of businesses and geopolitics in the contemporary economic landscape. Yet the Carraro Group's immediate concerns extend beyond the geopolitical quagmire. The rising costs of running the business, specifically the surge in gas and power charges, have become a more pressing issue. 
The company's financial prudence, exemplified by the use of a financial trading department in Luxembourg to hedge against rising energy prices, mitigated some of the impact. However, the cost is still projected to escalate by 5 million euro, adding to the complexities faced by the company. Enrico Carraro, the chairman of the company, succinctly captures the sentiment, describing the current moment as very difficult and very complicated. While the storm may not hit with full force, the looming crisis demands preparedness, emphasizing the delicate balancing act required to navigate the uncertainties of the present economic climate. For smaller enterprises like Stocco, a metal furniture manufacturer located north of Carraro's headquarters in Castello di Godego, the challenges are exacerbated. The cost of iron, a fundamental component of their production, has more than doubled since October. Giampaolo Stocco, a co-owner of the furniture company, articulates the difficulties faced by businesses with limited flexibility in setting prices, particularly in the face of uncertainty about future energy and commodity prices. CNA Treviso, an association supporting small and medium-sized businesses in the region, sheds light on the pervasive impact, estimating that companies are grappling with cost inflation ranging from 15 to 25%. The primary driver of this inflation is the steep rise in energy charges, underlining the vulnerability of businesses, especially those with constrained pricing flexibility. The challenge for businesses lies in charting a course forward amid the uncertainty surrounding energy and commodity prices. Giampaolo Stocco emphasizes the dilemma of setting prices for the upcoming year's catalogues. The fear of committing to current prices, potentially rendering the business uncompetitive if costs decrease, highlights the intricate decision-making process businesses must navigate. In the broader economic context, inflation in Italy stands at 8.5%. However, the expectation is that smaller companies like Stocco's will experience even higher inflation in the coming year. This disjuncture between official figures and the ground reality for businesses underscores the nuanced nature of economic challenges. The confluence of geopolitical events, rising energy costs and inflationary pressures creates a formidable backdrop for Italian businesses. As the Carraro Group and businesses like Stocco grapple with multifaceted challenges, the resilience and adaptability of these enterprises are put to the test. The intricate decisions made by these businesses reverberate not only within their boardrooms, but also across the broader economic landscape, shaping the trajectory of Italy's economic recovery. In Italy's economic landscape, businesses like Stocco, a metal furniture manufacturer, find themselves at a crossroads, grappling with the complexities of inflation, rising energy costs, and an unpredictable future. Gianpaolo Stocco, co-owner of the company, candidly informs customers that Stocco's prices will witness a 10% increase, reflecting the stark reality of inflationary pressures. However, such expectations of high inflation pose challenges for the central bank. The future trajectory of inflation carries a psychological component where the anticipation of higher prices can become self-fulfilling. As companies and households brace for inflation, they may adjust by setting higher prices and demanding elevated wages, creating a feedback loop that reinforces inflationary trends. Amid these dynamics, economists do not anticipate interest rates in Europe reaching the double-digit levels of the 1980s. Recession predictions and a narrowing window for rate increases shape the economic landscape. Yet, the confluence of high energy prices, inflation and slow economic growth creates substantial uncertainty. Businesses, unable to predict when supply chain disruptions will ease, grapple with an environment fraught with challenges. A poignant example is La Casearia Carpenedo, a cheesemaker that flourished during the period of low interest rates. The company embarked on a trajectory of expansion and innovation, borrowing to install solar panels, build machinery, and invest over half a million euros in various endeavors. However, the current economic climate has forced a pause on new investments, disrupting the family's aspirations of opening a cheesemaking school, acquiring land for grape cultivation, and establishing an herb garden. These challenges add layers to the existential questions that businesses often confront about the future of their industry. La Casearia Carpenedo 
faces a pivotal decision. Revert to being a small artisan producer or take the bold leap to become a large international company. Ernesto Carpenedo, a family member involved in the business, articulates the complexity of the decision-making process, acknowledging the difficulty in understanding what tomorrow holds. As we conclude this journey through Italy's economic tempest, your thoughts and insights are invaluable. Comment below to share your perspectives and don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons, ensuring you stay tuned for more updates on the unfolding economic narrative.